You've just saved hundreds of lives. It's what I get paid to do. I can't believe your modesty. I was hardwired for modesty. Should I thank you now? Or later? How about now? Ashamed of yourself. Hey, you were the one who said you wanted the free recall trip. That was supposed to be my fantasy, not yours. Oh, Paula, come on. Hey, don't tell me you didn't like it, huh? I didn't say I didn't like it. What do you want? This isn't part of the recall trip, is it? We must patch rerouting you to recall headquarters. Recall headquarters. That's what they said. Gotta be mistake. Some kids hacked into their security system, set off all the bells and whistles. The bell and the whistle will be a nice change of pace. I swear, this rotation put a somniac to sleep. I think this is where they test the new machines. You ever taken a recall vacation? Never had the money. Then how come you know so much about the place? It's in their brochure. What brochure? The living I've been thinking about buying one of those sublimators. <laughs> so that you can do that virtual love stuff? Look, I don't know what we'll be using it for. It's mostly her idea. If I had a wife, look like yours, I'd want to do things the old-fashioned way. Yeah, yeah, just swipe your card. Proceed with caution. There are three Beta-class androids still inside the complex. What the hell? Service androids shouldn't even be in that sector. You tell them. Meanwhile, get your stun off standby. later and call some backup. Done. I was hoping we could wait outside until the year. Help me, Nikki!
Nikki. Nikki! Don't you die on me! Don't you die on me, Nikki! Don't you die on me! Don't you die, Nikki! in the morning. That's not the way it works. It's the way it works tonight. The service android was terminated with an out-of-policy 12 millimeter. That kind of weapon hasn't been used in over 20 years. Do you know what happened to the 12 millimeter? What we should be asking is, what were those androids doing at recall? And how did they gain access to a programming office? Now, it appears the young programmer that was killed had access to recall equipment. He was using it to seduce his girlfriend. She ended up at the wrong place at the wrong time. Is that a joke? We get, what, two homicides a year in this city? I spend half my time answering calls from people that think their computers are spying on them. Detective Hume, this is Richard Collector. He's head of recalls, internal security. I'm very, very sorry about what happened to your partner. We at Recall will do everything we can to help CPB's investigation on this matter. You have my word on it. And now, gentlemen, if you will permit me to take Dr. Gish home, this has been a very, very long night for all concerned. Yeah. The androids were after him. Why do you say that? Why do I say that? They were leading him out of the building at gunpoint. I assure you that Dr. Gish will get the very best security. Good evening, gentlemen. You just make sure he's available for further questioning. Of course. Follow me. We're talking about the 12 millimeter that's missing from the scene. My partner was killed with a laser weapon. You want to talk? Let's talk about that. Forensics hasn't verified it was a laser. I verified it with my eyes. I saw it burn a hole the size of a baseball through Blanchard's chest. You want to know what that's like, Callie? You know what the smell of burnt flesh is like? Why don't you lean a little closer? It's still on me. You! You're upset by what's happened to your partner. I understand that. We'll continue this in the morning. Fine. Before you go, the 12 millimeter that killed the android? The out of policy 12 millimeter? You have no knowledge of what happened to it. I have no knowledge. We can stop him before he leaves the building if you want. No. Let him hang on to the gun for the moment. I'm almost more interested in what he plans on doing with it than where it came from. Is it true about Nikki? 
think he's dead. Oh, God, no. Olin said something about rogue androids? I don't know what they were. This whole thing. How could that happen? I mean, the, the androids are not programmed for violence. This is not supposed to happen. This isn't a department weapon, is it, David? No. Where did you get it? I got it from the crime scene today. One of the androids had it. David. Look, I don't even know why I have it. I'm gonna check it into Evans tomorrow, okay? Tell me what you're doing sitting in that chair. You must be David Hume. Ian Favre. Doesn't answer my question. Why are you at this desk? We can talk about this here. We can talk about this What's in What's there to talk about? Favre's your new partner. Temporarily. I've heard good things about you. That's supposed to explain what he's doing in Blanchard's desk less than 24 hours after Blanchard's been killed? Let's go into my office. Uh, no, this is my fault. I, I had no idea this was your partner's chair. What I did was thoughtless and uh, totally inappropriate. I apologize. You're right, that was totally inappropriate too. Until further notice, you're working together. This guy's qualified to go after rogue androids? You're not going after androids. The assessor's office is handling that. And until Callie finishes his investigation, you're on front desk duty. You got us doing walk-ins? You want me to run interference with the assessor's office? You'll damn well do what you're told to do. You'll find yourself at home warming your couch. Well, with all due respect, No sir. one is better prepared to deal with Collector and all his internal security bullshit than Callie. You're gonna have to trust him on this one. Yes, I can type 180 words a minute. Good, you're, you're doing the paperwork. Excellent. Yes, sir, I can tell that you're upset, but if you'll just calm down and tell me the story, I'm sure we can get to the bottom of it. What happened after that? I tried the lob setting next, which you can see right here in the manual is a number four setting. And what does this supposedly risk-free 
top-of-the-line holographic tennis instructor do next? I have no idea, sir. He fires an overhead slam right into my left eye. A ripped cornea? Do you have any idea how painful a ripped cornea is? I take it you've received proper medical attention? The next thing, I'm trying to shut this supposedly top-of-the-line tennis pro off. Do you know what he does next? He scissor kicks me five times in the groin. I'm not sure I understand exactly how you wish us to act in this matter. I want him arrested. Machines can't be arrested, sir. You'll have to file suit with the manufacturer. And I must warn you that your own mental health history will be examined. When was the last time you had a brain scan? A brain scan? Am I to take it that the Citizens Protection Bureau is refusing to act in this matter? It's a question of jurisdiction, sir. We'll just see about this. Have a nice day now, sir. This way. What are you doing to the park? Don't, 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 don't touch her like that. Civil disturbance. Citizens check confirms no priors. Evacuees from one of the contaminated Eastern European sectors. Been off the transport less than two weeks. Mrs. is charged with attempted kidnapping. Tried to grab a kid in a mall. Kid's been returned to his parents unharmed, but everybody's pretty upset. He's the husband. Complaint was keyed and filed en route? Yeah, it should be in there. Thank you, officer. Excuse me, would you mind removing the handcuffs? Thank you. Welcome to the Citizens Protection Bureau, Mrs. Souter. This is all mistake. This is a terrible, terrible mistake. Mr. and Mrs. Souter, you live at Scanlon Street, level four, number 318, apartment 226. I know this must be very confusing. Things are very different than where you came from. Can you tell me what happened? Uh, she, she's, she's a good woman. She's never hurt nobody. Uh, she's back home, she was a school teacher. A school teacher. Did you know the boy at the mall? Where were you going to take him? She was not kidnapping boy. She, she... This has never happened before. It's just... You're right. It's confusion. It's, it's new city. Everything is different. Do you have any children of your own? No. Yes, of course. It says that right here. Mr. Souter, is your wife taking any kind of medication? No. She, she's in perfect health. She's a very happy person. But since we come back, she, she started to be sad. Back from where? We went on holiday to Galapagos, see turtles there. After holiday, Maria started to be sad. She has problems in the house. Everything is different. You took a holiday to the Galapagos Islands? To see the giant sea turtle? Yes. When did you go? I don't, I don't remember. It's, it's sometimes I get confused myself. I... Did you take a recall vacation, Mr. Souter? Recall? No. I, I, I don't remember how we got there. Recall, customer service. Welcome to Recall, where your dreams do come true. How can I help you? CPB, Officer David Hume. Confirming, Officer Hume. How can I be of service to the Citizens Protection Bureau? Souter, S double O D O R. I need a log of their vacation history. Checking. I'm sorry, there is no log. There are no records of usage for Sudor. S double O D O R. Thank you, end call. How did you get there, Mr. Souter? The transports. We... We flew on the transports. Would you remember the docking station if we took you there? It's possible. Yes. Mm -hmm. Their file's accurate. There's no way they had time to go to the Galapagos Islands in the last two weeks. Unless, as you say, it was a recall vacation. Let's go find out. transfer you from? It was a special ops unit. It's 
Special Ops is a division in the Assessor's Office. I know what you're thinking. If I were in your position, I would be thinking the same thing. You were sent to watch over me. No, absolutely not. You're right. Mr. Suter, any of this look familiar to you? Anything? Yeah. Yeah? It does. This might have been the way you took to the transport station? I... I, I think so. I... Uh, this is the way. Yeah? Yeah, I think. Okay, keep looking. I worked in a very sensitive area, but it had absolutely nothing to do with spying on members of the Citizens Protection Bureau. Android. You have a problem with androids? Yeah. Ones that are programmed to kill. You okay? Yes, thank you. It just melted the hell out of the shoulder pad. I think it wasn't Harmony. <laughs> yes. Well, looks like I just gave you something to hang me with. I'm glad you brought it along, Detective Hume. You saved my buttocks. Don't go getting all emotional on me. David, those laser waves you saw them using burned off all surface debris, including forensics, prints, fibers, secretions, you name it. So you're saying this ain't no routine case? I found this embedded in one of the walls. It looks like some kind of programming disk. Ain't much. You think you can identify this? Yeah, once we get back to the lab. Any chance it, uh, it might be a recall disk? I don't know. It might be. Listen, David, I'm sorry about Blanchard. He was a great guy. Yeah, he was. And how's Olivia holding up? She's okay. Well, with everything that's been going on, it must be bringing up a lot of bad memories for her. Well, you know, it's been a long time. Fifteen years is not that long. Two android-related incidents in 24 hours? Listen, I'll see you back at the office, yeah. okay? That's a lot to talk about. So what, do you want to draw straws to see who goes first? Why don't you start by giving me the 12 millimeter?
could have busted you for carrying this last night. There's a thermal scanner right on Arenthal's desk. So when did you turn into a good Samaritan? I wanted to see what you're going to do with it. I admire your loyalty. The instinct to avenge a partner's death is something you don't see anymore. Yeah, I can see how that would get lost when you live your life under a surveillance camera. You're not suggesting the attempts to make this a safer, more perfect world have actually resulted in loss of individual freedom, are you? The android with the laser, was it the one that killed Blanchard? I didn't see his face. Was it the same weapon? Possibly. I don't believe these events are random occurrences. And I don't believe Mr. Collector is telling us everything he knows. Forensics just found the fragment of a programming disk. I think it might be one of recalls. All right, why don't you and your partner get over to recall? I'll see that the immigrant couple gets back to the station. What do you want us to tell your buddy Collector? Tell him you want to talk to Dr. Gish. He's the only witness to what happened. Oh, yeah, and how do I know you're not just using me to screw with Collector? You don't. Customers aren't allowed in this area. We ain't customers. Show them your ID, Farf. We are investigators with the Citizens Protection Bureau. Yeah, I understand that, but still, without a proper... Three people were killed in this building last night. We don't need a warrant. You don't understand. This is a very sensitive room. I think he understands perfectly well, Simon. What may we do for you, Detective Young? I want to see Gish. I'm afraid that's quite impossible at this moment. He's a material witness in a murder investigation. I thought you were off this case. Hey, guess what? I'm back on it. And I want to see Gish. Hmm. He's on his way to Mars. On whose authority? We take the security and the safety of our employees quite seriously. You said last night you didn't think the androids were after Gish. I said I didn't know what they were after. There's a difference. Yes, there is, sir. But now, apparently, you do know what they're after. Otherwise, why go to the time and expense of sending Dr. Gish to Mars? Perfectly correct. Purely precautionary in nature. Now, if you gentlemen will follow me. We found a fragment of a programming disk in a building where a second android was killed today. Tisk, tisk, such violence. It seems we did make the right decision sending the good doctor to Mars. I think it's a recall disk. We don't use disks anymore. You don't use disks. What do you use? That information is protected by the Intellectual Property Law and Corporate Security Act. Hey, it's a murder investigation. Three humans and one android were killed in this very building. Now I got a second dead android. It might all be linked to recall. Detective My investigatory power supersede your fucking security act. Do they? This has nothing to do with recall. We don't use disks. And we don't do implants. Understood. Prove it. Why am I being volunteered for this? Now just relax, Detective Farb, and let the machine do the work. This is it, these extreme adventures? Well, that is the nature of the market that we're targeting. With a sublimator in every home, the company has to keep increasing the thrill quotient just to compete. Have you ever done any downhill skiing, Detective? Never. I'm afraid of heights. Perfect. Commence. He's doing quite well for a beginner. You see, no discs, no implant. I'm afraid I have to be going. Yvonne here will uh, take care of you if you need anything. Just one thing before you go. Gotta ask. 
letting a bunch of androids get past all this high-tech security. Yes, I'm quite concerned about that as well, Detective. Thank you for coming. The volunteer process, as I understand it, involves consultation with the volunteers. I happen to have a legitimate fear of heights, not to mention a touch of motion sickness. Gee, if I only know. Well, I think that in future it would be appropriate for us to have a partner. Detective Hume. Partner, 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 hey, let's Detective do that Q. next time, okay? Thank you very what? Much. This is about Collector sending Gish to Mars. Some rubbish about being able to protect him better there. That son of a bitch. Exactly. At this point, Gish is our only legitimate witness. I'm starting extradition immediately. I want to work both cases. Let me think about it. I knew he'd say that. Okay, let's play doctor. What's the matter with you? My stomach is, uh... He's an android, Favre. Get your ass over here. It looks real enough to me. Something I said? Probably. I didn't know androids were into self-mutilation. Do you know anything about scarification? Hmm. It's an ancient tribal custom. It's used to give them a sense of belonging. Belonging? With people who have the same scars? Well, this is where the beta class androids have their barcode. Now, the impulse to obscure a dehumanizing code and give yourself a sense of belonging, that's what I call pretty darn human. The android you terminated last night, the same scar. So you're saying they might be related? Related in a way that all human beings are related by a phenomenon known as human consciousness. Okay, give me the condensed version of all this. The independent actions, the scarring, breaking into recall, it indicates a level of awareness that a service android is not supposed to have. Hmm. By the way, that disc we found, it's not a recall disc. What you're seeing is the virtual extrapolation of the fragment we found. Turns out it was part of a game disc. This particular game is very popular with 10 to 12 year old boys right now. Try it out. Neural impulses are fed into the brain and the player controls his character through eye-brain coordination. Play. <laughs> Quit laughing. Look, tell me this, though. What could this possibly have to do with rogue androids and an immigrant couple from Eastern Europe? Maybe nothing. The fragment could have been left there from weeks ago. <laughs> you believe me now that it was all a mistake? Maria was never going to take that boy from Mall. We believe somebody has done something bad to you. We just need to figure out what it is. Ah, oh, my baby, Mario! Oh, Maria! My baby, boy, Mario! Oh. My sweet baby, boy! I'm so... Oh. <laughs> the boy she grabbed in the mall represented someone who was taken from her. A lost or dead child of her own would seem to be the obvious explanation. David, take a look at this. OK, OK, look, let's make plans to do a complete psychiatric workup. If they'll agree to it, they'll have to. What do you got? This is the initial visa application the suitors filed with immigration. They're from an area that was contaminated by fallout. Yeah, like 50 years ago. But we've got another problem. What's that? This file's been corrupted. You. Morales has a location on a rogue android. He thinks it might be the one that killed Blanche. So I'm back on the case? You're back on the case. We need the help. But I want that android taken alive, and I want to know what the hell is going on. So do I.
another incident this morning. I, I wanted to make sure you were all right. It was a different thing. David, you should see the look on your face. Oh, look at please, not now, okay? Not now. My father had that same look 15 years ago. The night he went off to try and kill an android. You don't kill androids. They're not real. That is not true. They're not alive. They're machines. Don't make the same mistake my dad did, David. Don't treat them like machines. Morales. Hey, man, it's your guy. They found the laser that burned Blanchard. We got him trapped on a roof near where he was hiding out. He's got some kind of software bug in his head or something. If he wasn't an android, I'd say he was losing his mind. Do I hear right? We got to take this guy alive? Orders. 60 second warning cycles. And then I'm going to be as dumb as a doorknob or, or as dumb as a cop. I can get you under recall. Too late. It's too late. <clears throat> Why do you keep coming closer to me? You do not need to be this close to me to kill me. I'm not going to kill you. Yes, you are. I'm not going to kill you. Yes, you are. Shoot me. Shoot me. Shoot me. Doesn't have to be this way. Shoot me. Shoot me. Hold 
didn't have to go like that. Yeah, he did. He thought it would make him more human. Okay, I'll just be in the door, uh, uh, you can't even take care of it. You can't even take care of it. You can't even take care of it.